Hey, how's everybody doing? Um, I, a few days late posting this because I kind of had to get my thoughts in order. But if you don't already know, um, you know now. Um, um, Mike Nesmith of the Monkees passed away on Friday. Three weeks after his final performance with Mickey and you know, three weeks before his birthday. And you know, this one hit me hard. Uh, there's been a number of them that are getting, I'd say, closer to me now. And Charlie Watts, Stephen Sondheim. But this one really hit me. I mean, it, it hit me about as bad as Davies did when Davy um, when Davy went. Peter, I knew he was sick. I knew um, he had cancer. It was in remission, or I think he was cancer-free, but it came back. Um, so I know that he was he was sick. Uh, Mike, uh, um, thank God. It, 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 I shouldn't say thank God. I mean, it's horrible, but it, it was natural causes. But I broke down and cried. Now... I've talked about the monkeys off and on on my channel, and I mean, everybody knows the history, so I don't think I need to go into detail on that anymore. But it's very sad that Mickey Dolenz is now the last one standing, and Mike despite being a hard ass for all the right reasons, you know. But, yeah, I mean, um, it he had something to prove. And because of him and Peter, they did the impossible. This television show actually became the band. And, af and the music that he did in The Monkees and after the monkeys. I mean, we all know he was a video pioneer. We all know elephant parts. But I want to talk about something here that I think gets overlooked with Nesmith. He was a pioneer of country rock. Not just with the stuff he did with the monkeys, but post monkeys with his first national band. Everybody should know Joanne now. I mean, it was sort of a minor hit, but that stuff was not selling. But he was doing what Graham Parsons was doing with his previous band, and when Graham Parsons joined the Birds, and then after he left the Birds for that one album and took Chris Hillman, and they formed the you know, Flying Burrito Brothers. I mean, Burrito Brothers is great, and Graham Parsons, um, all the accolades he got you know, um, is, is worthy. But n none of the critics paid attention to songs on the Monkees albums like What Am I Doing Hanging Round, especially that one. I know Nesmith didn't write that song, but he brought it to the Monkees. But his own originals, like uh, Sweet Young Thing, Papa Jean's Blues, it was this marriage of country and rock that was happening on pop on pop albums before the birds did the sweetheart of the road sweetheart of the rodeo album before the birds added a pedal steel player which was red roads by the way who joined nesmith's group the first national band before they were doing all of that and before the eagles before Burrito Brothers, before that whole Southern, Cal uh, you know, Southern California peaceful, easy feeling thing was happening in the late 60s and 70s. I mean, the Eagles got all the accolades, and even nowadays, their influence is felt, fortunately and unfortunately, on modern country. Um, but nowhere is Nesmith acknowledged for what he did. And if you have never checked out the first National Band albums uh, or Magnetic South, I urge you to check out those records. If, or check out some of the Monkees' D 
deep cuts, especially in the later years. Uh, check out the song While I Cry from the Instant Replay album, which was the first album that was released after the television show went off the air and Peter left. That was the first song I played once I heard about what happened and I broke down and totally cried. Uh, this loss was tough for me. Now, some people would say, well, he's just a musician. You never met him. But I did meet him. I met him through the music. I met him through the television show. Whenever I would put a Monkees record on or watch a, mon a Monkees episode or watched the movie Head, you know, I was in my world of comfort. That's why people like me get upset when our favorite musicians or artists pass away because they gave us so much. When we were having problems in our lives, we turned to them when we couldn't turn to our parents or anybody else. So I not only want Nesmith to be remembered as a member of the Monkees, um, a very good band that had a lot of great pop hits that should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Jan Wenner. Hell, you talk about the monkeys being manufactured, so were the Sex Pistols, damn it. And they're, they're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Don't get me started on the Sex Pistols. As far as all of the worthy punk bands, my opinion on them is that that's a totally different story. But not only a member of the monkeys, television and music, but also as a pioneer of country rock, of what became known as country rock. I'm not talking southern rock like you know, Leonard Skinner and Marshall Tucker Band and all that stuff. I'm talking about that whole Southern California vibe that happened with the Eagles and all of them embracing country music. I mean, First National Band, he, uh, Nesmith took what I feel is one of the best pedal steel guitar players in the business at that time, and that was Red Rhodes, who played with the Birds on their albums when they did their excursions into country rock. But I guarantee you they probably would not have done it if they didn't hear that stuff happening on Monkees records. So a member of the Monkees, yes, a video pioneer with everything that he did with his company, Pacific Arts, and his video album, Elephant Parts, which if you haven't watched that, the skits are hilarious. I still laugh at those skits and they still hold up. But also as a pioneer of melding the worlds of country and rock together. Um, yes, the Monkees deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but I think it would be heartbreaking now if all of a sudden they get inducted next year. They should have been inducted when they were all alive. You know, but, I mean, Nesmith, uh, Godspeed, Papa Nez. Say hello to my dad. I'll talk to you soon.